let it be a lesson. Here we are, Sina. Sina, this morning, I just want people to know that the close was 125. It dropped down. They took it all the way up to 128 and just dropped it to 113.17. And this is what can happen in price volatility. If you know how to do it, though, you get short on the fall. And all the Chinese ADRs right now are just getting creamed. Right here. 113.17, 114.69. We can see where, where that's selling. They just walked it up, and it's a, it's a jobs Friday. The market's revert, really volatile. We can see down here that the Dow is going down. It is still down. The Dow is down 90 points. Uh, you can see that the indexes continue to sell. You can see that Baidu right here is also down big. They got it up to 139. It's almost $5 down. When you take a look at the Soho as well, we also know that 83.28, and this is all about price volatility. And what happens is that if the buyers don't come out, they'll start selling more at a much lower price. What gets these things down this big of a drop and stop market orders, maybe some margin calls could be happening, but these are some of the things that happen when they get the big drops like that. They're very deceptive as far as understanding volatility and how to manage volatility and what it can do to the public. It could do lots of bad things to the public because what happens is they always think they're going to bounce back. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But price volatility is to confuse people and or get people to be really bullish on something and then these kinds of things happen and these kinds of drops happen. And it, once again, it's a very unfortunate deal that these kinds of things happen to people that are totally innocent because uh, they lack the education and knowing how to do it. So basically it pops right up off of the lows and then it starts to sell right back down. That is all of the ADRs and once again Sina as far as the chart goes the chart right here I'll have to start another three minute chart it looks like and that the three minute chart right here that we can see we hit that bottom and you can see that big pop and you can see where the intraday uh, reversals were happening well over here they started to happen they bounced but then they took their big drops all the way down here and they did so basically what we would like to inform people on is that volatility if it's it, it's 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 a high degree of risk for average people because it is and if they don't have a system that helps them there has to be a way when things get weak but stop market orders have been taken all the way down Alert, bid below on delta on this particular trade 134.06 at minus 3 slash yeah. 4 delta once again this is what happens in high volatility stocks remember it's a jobs friday the dow is starting to sell back off price volatility off the bottom this morning was huge took it up to 128 and down to 113 soho on the other hand they all fall in suit in that same area that same sell off is happening in these major three names mm -hmm. as far as chinese internet stocks are concerned and what volatility can do to an average person uh... is very vulnerable to the exchanges and how things happen and what goes on mechanically in here and when people hold without protecting risk you can really end up in a bad way in this volatility and it's something that uh, everyone should learn the mechanics of volatility